terms that permeate discussions across various domains, from music and movies to literature and beyond. What one person deems underrated, another may view as overrated, highlighting the inherent subjectivity of such judgments. My job here is to give my own take about blue lock players and explain why nobody understands said players. Are these players underrated or overrated? Each player will have a choice between overrated, fairly rated and underrated. Let's start, shall we? Gagamaru Fairly rated He makes very clutch saves and has amazing reflexes. His dives remind me of cockroaches. Releases his inner kangaroo and somehow gets to the other side of the goal. Nobody thinks he is a bad player on the pitch. A solid goalkeeper that should be around the top 20 player, if not top 15. Chigiri Fairly rated and leaning into underrated. When Bastet played Menschein, I made a video where I put Chigiri above Nagi in Rio. At that time he was heavily underrated, but since the new rankings things have changed, and he's 7th on that list. His shot efficiency just outside the box is terrifying and has the accuracy of Robin Hood. Do not forget he's basically a mini Julian Loki. Chigiri has underrated dribbling that should be in the top 5 in the NEL and has the power to make space for his teammates with ease. Raichi Fairly rated. A very talented 1v1 marker with unlimited stamina. Good strength to push people off balance so they miss their shot or give bad passes. That's about it. He doesn't have the higher levels of interceptions as a defender or playmaking skills as a midfielder. Should be rated at about top 25. He will either make the U20 World Cup team as one of the last choices or just miss the team altogether. Bachra. Slightly underrated, Kermia. This guy has the highest dribbling level in the NEL with some good passing and scoring abilities. His passing range is almost half the pitch. If necessary, he can dribble even the goalkeeper or chip it Rabona style. He can play aggressive or passive styles of play to adapt to the opponent. Borsha is the worst team of the NEL, which is kind of sad, which means he can only play passes to Otoya and they need Lavio's help to try and win a hard game. This little monster is a top 5 blue lock project player at this very moment. Kunigami Underrated Similar goal scoring abilities to Baro while he has doubled the salary in the NEL. If Kunigami played for Ubers, he would be able to score as many goals as Baro would. Physically he is just as strong as professional players if not better than some. Don't give me the he doesn't pass the ball argument. Ego forced some type of philosophy in order to train the rest of the best of the team and make them compete for dominance. He wasn't allowed to pass the ball. This might change in the PXG match in order to redeem his hero mentality and make it to the top. Nico Overrated Nico is good at anticipating the ball while working in a system. He relies on a strong coordinated system to be strong. He has metavision but it's not on the same level as let's say Isagi or Kaiser. He was a good defender in the U20 match but they improved a lot since then. Like I said, He's not able to play as good as what people say he would if not for the Uber's chemistry. Nico is the youngest of the blue lock group so he should have a lot of time to develop physically. He would land somewhere between the top 20 to 12. Barrow Fairly rated The guy that scored the hat-trick in his first game. The guy that outplayed Isagi and Kaiser at the same time. The guy that's basically the sniper of the team and carries the offense of the Uber's. Has top tier shooting with very good dribbling as well. Strong off-ball movement and the power of unpredictability that even Snuffy can't plan for. Do not forget his second line of attack. Barrow charges in behind the lines, pushes the defenders away and scores a goal. That's what he did in the U20 match. 100% a top 5 player in the Blue Lock project at this very moment. Rayo. Overrated. Some people see Rayo as some god level copycat like Kakashi. Copying every skill in a second while surpassing the original. He can only copy, not improve the skills. There are some Blue Lock fans that put him on the same level as Sai or Rin because of his ideal football player in his imagination. He saw those two as the best players and tried to incorporate those styles into his arsenal. Rayo is a very solid player but he needs to improve his mentality and chemistry with players other than Nagi. I have to say it again, he cannot copy everything. His physical stats are not higher than some of the players he tries to copy, so he's only a great all-rounder that has less efficiency than the original. Nagi. Depends on the time. 
The Nagi that played against Bester that scored the iconic 5 state revolver volley is slightly overrated. Even Ego stated he wouldn't be able to recreate the super goal. If you aren't able to recreate your strength, then it won't work. Basically the second lesson Ego taught in Blue Lock's first selection. On the other hand, Nagi is slightly underrated with people putting him around 15th place on their lists. He should be closer to the 10th spot. Zantetsu Underrated In the second selection he scored every goal from the wing, was faster than Chigiri in short distances and is most likely staying that way. With Loki being his manager, he will increase his efficiency in his runs and make space for strikers like Rin or Shido. We don't know his current abilities or how much he has improved yet. Let's wait for the final NEL match to finish before we evaluate a player like Zantetsu. Otoya Slightly underrated People are sleeping on this guy. He might not be a top 4 player anymore or dominate the game like Rin, but he's still a reliable sport winger. Everyone put him outside the top 10, but in the ranking he's 10th currently, above people like Karasu or Nagi. His skill should be similar to what he was before. I don't think he improved too much. Wouldn't put him in the top 10 though. About top 15 maybe. Are you? Fairly rated. The blue lock player with the best jumping. His reach in the air is undisputably number one. His trio with Aiku and Lorenzo was really good, even if he's the worst of the three. This might be the highest are you will ever get in blue lock rankings, because it heavily favors attackers that score goals. A 45 million bid for a guy that started as a striker is pretty good. He doesn't even have two years of experience as a defender. Yukimiya. Slightly underrated. His dribbling was so good in the third selection they had to nerf him with his eyesight. He's the best dribbler and bastard and thrives in counterattacks where the opponent presses. The NDL can only have three goals max for a team which only allowed him one goal until now, even as a fullback. If he gets chosen as a U20 player, he should play a left mid position, so he gets the space to do his thing. Would put him somewhere around top 15. Corona. Fairly rated. Isagi's favorite give and go friend and the sacrifice for Isagi's success in the NEL. Sorry Natsu, it had to be done. Probably the third fastest person in the NEL, just behind Chigiri and Zantetsu. He relies on supporting Isagi which makes him a player with safe decisions. He relies too much on him though. Spatial awareness and timing are great as well, but he might need to play more up like Yukumiya to be more efficient. Iori. Fairly rated. He was always one of the smartest characters in the project. His ability to understand and optimize plays is superb, with great interceptions. Iori told Isagi to give up on hiding his weakness when he played against Karasu. His passing has even been compared to Sai in the U20 match made Isagi realize many things to make him grow as a player. And now in the Neo Egoist League, men even dribbled Lorenzo and other players to get an assist. Yori plays like a maestro of the game. Should be borderline top 10 or just outside of it. Like the video for a part 2.